For a country that prides itself on the severity of the weather, Arctic Sweden was in the midst of the coldest and wettest spring in 100 years. Without a full palette of weather data, meteorologist Ross Hayes was feeling an Arctic squeeze. Showers and you go 30 miles to the west, the other side of Karuna, there hadn't been any shower activity at all and the sun's been shining. We'll say the global models are, are fairly good in telling you what the primary weather systems are that will be coming through a general area anywhere on the, on the globe, but get localized and how, when the wind will shift. The timing on these events is very questionable. On top of that, weather conditions for launch must be nearly perfect. You just put one up at a thousand. That way we kind of get an idea of what the wind speed is and what kind of direction that we're looking at. The Columbia Scientific Balloon Facility crew uses small tethered pilot balloons to gauge local winds. Surface winds for a launch cannot exceed six to seven miles per hour in the first 200 vertical feet. From 200 to 1,000 feet, the height of a balloon when released, winds must be less than 12 miles an hour. It's about, uh, it's about 14 knots. Yep. And from top to bottom, launch winds must be in a consistent direction. Any shift in variation or speed during inflation can shred a balloon, a dangerous order for crew and scientist. Depending on where you are in the world, uh, coming up with that combination of weather can be very difficult, and sometimes there can be delays in launches of a week or 10 days or perhaps as long as two weeks. And with each passing day of bad weather, the blast scientific window of opportunity begins to close. Unfortunately, because of the number of observing constraints that we have, which are related to the viewing angle towards the sun, the latitudes over which the balloon ultimately flies, the duration of the flight, it means that about eight days ago, we actually lost uh, one of our key science targets. A target called the Lachman Hole. A gap in our galaxy with very little gas and interstellar dust that presents an unobscured view of the universe beyond. And so BLAST will still be able to achieve its primary science goals. But there is one unique area in the sky that unfortunately now we're no longer able to observe.